from WMHS, this is Monticello Today with Michael Comer and Lauren Drake, live from the studio at Monticello High School. You're seeing the 2013 yearbook for the first time exclusively right here on Monticello today. Since the first day of school, many students that make up the yearbook class have been working timelessly to take pictures of everything from the cars we drive to the sports we play to what we did this past summer. And speaking of that hard-working staff, one of the editors, Jesse James, has joined us in the studio this morning to tell us more about this year's declaration and to help us understand the theme that we are starting to learn more and more about, which is Crossroads. First of all, Jesse, how much fun was it to make the yearbook this year? Um, this year was a lot of fun. We made it a lot more, dif a lot different than we have in the past. So I think it was a lot of fun doing something completely different this year. Cool. So tell us more about um, how you chose this theme, Crossroads. Like, what led to that decision? Um, well, this year um, when we were at camp, we were kind of discussing like a bunch of different things that we could do. And one of um, the things we came up with was, you know, we all had to make different choices when we come to high school. And, like, high school is one big crossroads. It's one more step in the next direction into the real world. So I think that kind of plays off well in the yearbook. There's an array of topics in the yearbook. What page or section are you most proud of? Um, definitely the divider pages. They were a lot of fun to do this year. Um, there are a lot of pictures, a lot of fun pictures, hilarious pictures <laughs> that people took, crazy ones. So it was a lot of fun to put that together. Yeah. So just one last question. Um, to walk some people through the process of how you take it from a couple pictures to this huge you know, yearbook that we have right now. Um, well, it starts off at yearbook camp and we um, plan out what we want to do and then we just go take pictures, we set up the spreads, what we want them to look like, how we want it to convey and we just kind of make templates and then after that I just got to throw the pictures in and it's all done. Thank you very much, Jesse. <laughs> all right. Remember, you will receive a pass to go to pick up your yearbook in room G104 during second period. You cannot pick up your version of Crossroads until you have that pass. Coming up in just a little bit, Thomas has today's sports report. But first, Monticello Today staffer Kayla Gibson reports on a very talented and very passionate student here at MHS in a segment we're calling What's Your Passion? been singing ever since she knew how to talk. She plays guitar and piano. She has written 105 songs and counting. She has performed her original songs in front of a live audience as well. She has what it takes to make her dreams come true 
and one day you'll see your name up in lights. The Sports Report is next. Stay tuned. Sports with Thomas Hill. Good morning, everyone. I'm Thomas with a quick sports report for the day. We'll go straight to game times for the rest of the week. Tonight, the boys' soccer team starts things off down at the stadium against Powhatan in their district tournament at 5, followed shortly after by the girls' lacrosse team at 7, who will be playing CHS in their district tournament. The baseball team will also be in action against Western Albemarle away at 7. Tomorrow night, the boys' lacrosse team will also be playing the Warriors in the Western Central Division final starting at 6. That game's at home, so make sure to come and support the team. Also, the softball team will be playing Western over in Crozet for their district tournament starting at 6. Now on to a bit of news. The football team will have spring practice Saturday the 18th from 8.30 to 10.30 on the turf field. And finally, for this edition of the Monticello Sports Report, if you're interested in MHS cheerleading, then you should know that practices for sideline cheer will be next week, Monday, May 20th through Friday, May 24th, in the gym from 4 to 6.30. Tryouts for next year's squad is set to take place Tuesday, May 28th. And as with any other sport you play here at Monticello, an up-to-date physical and a permission slip is required to practice. Luckily for you, physicals will be given right here at MHS tonight for $10 in the gym. See Miss Seal for a physical form and more information on the $10 physical night. And now let's catch back up with Michael and Lauren for the morning's top announcements. Thanks, Thomas. We have just a few announcements to round out the day. That's right. And first off, seniors need to know that their library books are, are now overdue. And for everyone else in the school, the last day for you to check out a library book will be May 20th, which makes them all due May 27th. The Senior Award Night is fast approaching, and if you would like to be acknowledged for a scholarship that you have won, you need to let Mr. Southall and the Counseling Office know by Monday, May 20th. And now here's Lauren with more news for seniors. Thanks, Michael. We'll get to the stuff for seniors in just a bit. First, though, I want to remind all of those who still need to register for Behind the Wheel Summer Education Classes. The deadline is Wednesday, May 29th. Stop by the cafeteria to see Ms. Newhouser for details. And now back to senior news. Graduation practice is May 31st at John Paul Jones Arena and is set to take place at 11 o'clock. If you need a ride, please let Ms. Bailey know ASAP. Also, seniors, if you have not turned in your money for a graduation photo, please fill out the form and return your money to Ms. Duwani in the main office. That does it for this edition of Monticello Today. Tune in tomorrow to hear Dr. Turner's special message for seniors, and he may or may not take us on a special trip again. You'll just have to wait and see. Have a great day.